Hi, we have another failed part search video because the last one was reasonably uh, popular that I did back here, and I'll link it in if you haven't seen it from uh, Puria Solutions LLC. Well, as it turns out, um, the same poster on uh, Twitter has sent in yet another one. Uh, you saved me once before. Um, help with new part ID. So let's take a look at it because it's interesting to search for, uh, you know, failed components because this is a common thing you might have to do. You might have to repair a product which you didn't design. So you've got no schematic for it, you've got no idea, all you've got is the uh, part ID on it, hopefully, if it's not, you know, burnt off or anything like that, uh, when the magic smoke escaped, or uh, it's just got some obscure code or something like that. It's not obvious. You've got to figure it out from the rest of the circuit. This one's going to be relatively quick and simple, but I'll link in the last video if you want a bit more in depth. Anyway, um, it looks like we're repairing a hand tech uh, handheld oscilloscope here, the uh, 2000. Um, series. So here is the suspect in question, U15 here. It looks like, yeah, Ernie Bernie marks on here. It looks like the magic smoke uh, has escaped from this. And uh, curiously though, the uh, design uses another part here which is identical elsewhere in the design. So from that, we can uh, pick out the code here, which is 31. It's hard to make out, but that's actually a 3. That's actually 3130 here, and the OP tells us that in the uh, uh, Twitter post. So that's handy. And here's an overview of uh, the entire board inside the oscilloscope. So it looks like it uses uh, two 18650s uh, here, uh, rechargeable batteries. And you can see in here, yeah, possible Ernie Bernie mark. That's where it's... Uh... That's where it's come a gutsa. And this is where that other identical one is over here that we actually saw here. So you can see that's, that's part of the uh, label over here like this. And uh, you can see the trace coming down like that. So you can see, yeah, label there, trace coming down like that. So identical part here and here. And an important clue in debugging uh, problems like this is component location. So you'll notice it's connected through to the tab of this cell here, and this one is likely, because it's right next to um, the <laughs> pin here. Uh, yeah, 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 there it is there, right? It's going in there like that by the looks of it. Um, so component placements is everything. So you know that the component that we're looking at is right next to the 18650 batteries, which don't look like um, they're just in parallel or series. It looks like they're somehow independent they could be in series and you know they could be like tapping off the middle or something like that don't know but if you only had these two photos to go by here, then, you know, it, it's a little bit harder because you wouldn't know the proximity uh, to the batteries. But the battery proximity is a clue. But anyway, looking at the pin configuration here, you can see that these two pins are shorted together. That's quite unusual. Uh, and you can see that this pin here, um, unless there's a hidden V under there, it doesn't look like it, um, that is not connected at all. And then this pin buggers off down here. We can't see what else is uh, down there and then this one just has a single cap on it. So uh, given the width of this trace, it could be a ground, uh, for example, you would assume, because when you're designing a uh, PCB, you'll run thin traces like these uh, for the signal wires, and you'll run generally the thicker traces for power. So you can, and, and this one's got multiple vias up here, right? Three vias in there. Uh, there there's a via down here, right? And, and this one is quite thick. So you can assume that these are like power and ground or power rails or something like like that. So maybe that's the supply for the chip, whatever this doing, but it's got a rather unusual pin configuration. And of course, here's where it pays to know your packages as well. This is a SOT23 package, but it's a five pin. So it's what's called a SOT23-5, and that's going to be valuable in our search. But we also know that we've got a series resistor in here as well. So we've got some sort of RC configuration, some sort of filter configuration. So that could be like a power rail or something like that. We don't know if this is like an output, uh, you know, it's hard to tell. But certainly one of the first things you'd suspect is, ah, uh, it could be a fixed voltage regulator because it's just got a single output filter cap, for example. And I don't know, that could just be a jumper for measuring um, 
you know, in circuit currents or something like that, or it could be limiting uh, something else. But, you know, I wouldn't rule out a voltage regulator there. So that'd be one of my first picks. And certainly you could have like a low power fixed voltage regulator, like an LDO, uh, directly connected to the battery like there. It could be powering that soft power up uh, circuit because the uh, thing uses, like that's, that's the power button, I think uses a soft uh, power button. So, you know, you, you wouldn't rule that out. But, eh. but anyway, the first line, and not always, but often is the part number. And then the second one is a batch code, a date code, manufacturer's code, something like that. Could be a package code or some other variant uh, code. But we would uh, concentrate on 3130 because that kind of like, that sounds like a part number. So given the pin configuration like this, SOT 23.5 and, uh, you know, and the cap here, you might be thinking a low dropout voltage regulator. You might be thinking a MOSFET, uh, for example. So, you know, something like that perhaps. But then when you take into account the location here, you also might be thinking something to do with the 18650 charger, uh, you know, because you've got to charge these batteries, presumably, like, is that a USB there? It, it charges externally. So you might be thinking, okay, it's part of the charging uh, circuitry. It could be part of battery protection, uh, for example. It could be reverse polarity protection or some other battery charging protection, battery management something like that. First thing, of course, see if you can get lucky, Google search at 3130, always put like PDF after, or you could put data sheet or something like that, but the PDF is often uh, just enough. Look, we've got an Allegro uh, data sheet. No, that doesn't look like it. Um, the Hall effect switch is not a Hall effect switch. Portable pressure calibrator. Yeah, nah. Oh, a microchip 3D gesture recognition and motion tracking controller. It's not going to be that, right? So no, it looks like we're not really lucky there like this is just like yeah that's a hall effect switch Nah, we're not there. So you could put 3130 regulator PDF uh, op amps. Uh, it doesn't look like an op amp uh, circuit uh, configuration. There's no feedback resistors or anything like that. Just had that RC uh, filter there. It's not that. Uh, CA3130 op amps. No, it's it's not really going to be an op amp. So I would you wouldn't even bother going down that rabbit hole. Analog devices jobby 3130 uh, ultra low noise 1.2 uh, meg PWM architecture. No, it's not going to be that because there is no, uh, like, there's no inductors or anything else. There's no magnetic components around that. Um, so this is not anything to do with a switching regulator. So if we go 3130 MOSFET, what do we get? Uh, MOSFET, single power, N channel. Uh, TSOP, no, that's a TSOP 6. That's not it. Uh, we've got the op amp again. Uh, we've got a P channel enhancement mode. MOSFET, and we can check out that, but that's, you know, only a three pin uh, SOT25, so it's not going to be that. So we could put in SOT23.5 into our search term, so specifically the five pin SOT23 like this, and uh -huh, there's that same diodes incorporated, but uh -huh, we might be getting lucky, look at this, a BRCL3130 contains advanced power MOSFET, high accuracy voltage calibration circuits, put in an ultra small SOT23.5, let's have a look at this bad boy, what does this do? High integration a solution for lithium ion polymer battery protection. Now we're getting somewhere. It contains an advanced power MOSFET, high accuracy voltage detection circuits and delay circuits in a SOT23.5 package. And here's a typical application. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. So bingo, what do we have here? We've got two pins tied together, just like we saw on the PCB. We've got an RC circuit with a power, as we speculated at the start, that that was a possibly a, a power pin. So it looks like there's a MOSFET inside here, which switches between, it's in the charger negative line like this, because it's a battery uh, protection. It's measuring the uh, battery, it's monitoring the battery voltage through the VDD, through the actual power pin. So it's doing the monitoring and it's powering the uh, chip as well, uh, which is a really nice solution. And it's a battery protection device. So you still need your charger circuitry out here somewhere. But this um, is just, and that explains why also we would see uh, two of them here and here. Because um, you've got one of each protecting each uh, battery cell here so that's that's <laughs> we have we got a winner winner chicken dinner well here's the pin out here four and five are tied together just like we saw this is the dodgy one here certainly they're shorted together 
This is uh, the other one. They're shorted together. So, and then pin one here, we said was not connected. Sure enough, over here, VT. This is the test pin. Uh, you would leave that open. You almost, unless they tell you, it would specifically tell you here, you know, you must uh, tie that test pin. You can look elsewhere in the data sheet, but I guarantee a test pin you leave open, disconnected, unless told otherwise. And if you don't know, manufacturers use these uh, test pins. Yes, it does have circuitry connected up to it, but you might have to apply a certain voltage to it or certain signals or something to get it into a test mode. But yeah, that'd be for their uh, automated uh, production testing. So they'll give you no details on that unless you're manufacturing the chip. You won't know what that is. So you leave it alone. And of course, uh, VD to and, and pin two here is ground. So that's what we uh, saw here. That's what we suspected. That, that one might might be a ground there. And of course, as you saw, the RC uh, circuit here powering this thing. And Bob's your uncle. We've found it, right? It, it has to be this part. There's absolutely no way. It's not like, it, it may not be this actual manufacturer. There may be someone else. Uh, sh Shikus? Shik Shiyus? I don't know how you pronounce that. Never heard of them before. And the interesting thing is you can actually buy this from LCSC. They've got 80 in stock there. There it is. Um, but it looks, looks like they've got another variant, the SKCL3130. So we should have a look at that one because it could actually be that. They're both SOT23 fives here. So yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't rule that out. What is the difference here? So it could be either of those. Here's a series of high integration lithium ion protection. It's protection again. I don't know, you'd have to go into this. It's exactly the same configuration. So the only difference is the BR at the front or SK at the front. So uh, you might have to go into, if in fact, if you're replacing this, I would like, they've got the two different ones for a reason. So, so it's got all this cool stuff in and it should have an internal diagram, yep. Yep, there it is there, right? So it's got tons of stuff. So it's got over voltage, uh, over current, um, you know, detection and stuff like that, charge detection and everything, right? And it's got over temperature protection built in. So it's got a little, um, you know, silicon uh, temperature sensor and stuff. So uh, yeah, okay, what's what's the difference? So we actually flick through these. Um, <laughs> having a hard time seeing the difference. The top level stuff is exactly the same. Okay, it must have some small operational uh, difference. No, I'm not seeing the difference in the internal logic. What? Is it just a... Well, it's the same package. Zero volt battery charging function. Oh, gee. <laughs> We're going to need like a difference comparator to highlight the differences between... I'm, I'm not seeing it. The difference has to be absolutely minute. Oh, here we go. I'm seeing a little change in this wording down here. No, they've just got the word the there instead of turns the controller off and stops charging. Oh, okay, over discharge condition. This looks different. Yeah, so I'm 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 not gonna like go into the in-depth differences between those, but if you were, you know, it could make a significant difference um, if you were actually to choose the correct one there. So that's rather interesting that we found a part that has that subtle little difference. So anyway, if you didn't get lucky with uh, like a Google search like this, then you have to start going into, uh, you have to try and figure out what type of chip it is. So let's actually, let's let's take out MOSFET there. Let's just search for 3130. Yeah, it's it's the first link there. So just 3130 SOT235, can we remove PDF? Is that gonna get us lucky? Yeah, it's still, it's still the first shot. There, it's still the first result. So that's that's pretty lucky Google foo there, um, just to type in 3130 and SOT23.5. But if you don't type in the package, let's try just SOT23. Oh yeah, we, we, we still get it. So even not putting in five, we still get that as the first thing. So this could have taken us seconds or it depends on whether Murphy's asleep today or not. But anyway, for a product like this, you could search your DigiKeys and your mouses and your other Western uh, sources. But often you might go into, I like using LCSC um, for, because they do great parametric uh, and, and like functional search as well. So we can go into battery management ICs. So you might like find it's a battery, you could probably type 3130 into there and you'll find, you know, it'll be one of uh, the parts. But, you know, you could go in here and type, okay, uh, you search, you might think it's a battery management IC. So you go in here and you can eliminate all the packages. So you go all the way down here and SOT23 
5 and SOT23 5L. L is the low profile, so it's just thinner if you're designing ultra thin mobile shoe phone or whatever. Um, so then we apply that, and that's 205 parts remaining, is it? And then, yep, there it is there. We actually got it. Um, SOT23 battery management IC. There's another battery management I see, but that's, you know, they aren't the right numbers. But yeah, yeah, bang, we got it there by just searching for the category of battery management ICs and or you might search for battery protection or something uh, like that as well. And SOT23.5, the package type, bingo, we got it. But not always, got fairly lucky today. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, component search video. Even this one was relatively simple and we got fairly lucky fairly quickly. It's a um, MOSFET battery protection IC. So the charging circuitry must be elsewhere. But anyway, thank you very much, uh, Puria Solutions. I'm sure I'm butchering that um, for yet another uh, rather interesting um, repair component, fail component search where the magic smokes escaped. If you like these types of videos, please give it a big uh, thumbs up. And as always, discuss down below. Catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.